Well, I'm back again. It's the third time I'm going to try and record this video. <laughs> Revolution Games, Gazala, and the Cauldron. I set this up previously and played through a turn and then started looking at, in more detail, at the numbers that are represented on the right hand side, the step, the step uh, strengths. And then, of course, I read the little notation on the very beginning of the rules that said if it's a white number, that is a reduced unit and that's a step, uh, represents a unit with one step. This is a unit with three steps, it's full strength. This is also a one step unit, but it doesn't have a number on it. This is a full strength unit, it has a two on it, and it's not white. This is a two-step two unit. It's a reduced unit. Get the picture? So I screwed that up. So we had a whole bunch of units move around the board, and they shouldn't have been there, and so we took them all off, and then the cat messed up the board, and I put it all back together, and I was like, hang on a second, let me check that, and boom, realized my mistake. So we're going to start all over again. I also had done Desert Storms wrong. Desert Storms, I believe, only work for the activation that, that they're... Uh, and here we go with loud kids again. Uh, only work with so <clears throat> minor interruption trying to work out where I was something about something um, <laughs> desert storms so I believe that activations were it's only for the activation that happens the, for, for that specific activation it's not for the entire turn, so it's significantly different. I'm going to double check that anyway. Uh, the game has some really interesting mechanics to it, and uh, when I say mechanics, I mean the rules are driving you to use combined arms and use different types of tactics than you perhaps normally would. It's not just a pile in with a bunch of combat factors and attack a unit. You're actually, when you move a unit and it's finished for its turn, you flip it over, right? And you can see it has very different values. So that armored unit is going to be basically halved. And in the combat phase with a particular unit, you uh, combat is a function of movement, you'll move that unit up. So I move this guy up to here. And perhaps this guy had already moved. And this guy had already moved. And I put this guy here. He's attacking with these strengths. The other guys are attacking with the reduced strengths. And you might note there's these white threes here and these black fives. The, and this is where some of the choices start to come out because of the way the rules are written. The white number is the number you use to defend against armored attacks, and the black number is the number that you will use to defend against infantry style attacks or soft attacks. So if we didn't have this armored unit here, we would be using the five versus the uh, versus the six as an attack, right? Would that be correct? I think so. And if I had this guy, if I was moving this guy up into here to attack this unit, ignoring, let's say this wasn't here, uh, it would be 24 versus five. But because I'm using armor here, eight, and then I could use that guy for it would be would use the three that's the defensive value against armor and they can't attack with armor but they can defend against them so that starts driving some behavior with the units and which unit moves up and adjacent first who's going to attack who's not going to attack how you position your attacks having you uh, because even after I've moved and, and I'm finished I can still participate in attacks as pretty much as many as you want uh, in a given activation or series of activations. Anyway, that's enough about the game for now. I'll try and show some combats and how they actually work a little bit later on, but I wanted to kind of give you a little update on the game. Really interesting. I like it. It's got a nice map. It's very uh, functional. Got the terrain chart, effects chart around the side there so you can see <clears throat> see what the different elements of the terrain are very attractive map for that matter disappointed with this crease here it seems to 
this is a brand new game, so uh, maybe it's just the way it was printed or the, the paper it's printed on, I don't know. But that kind of detracts from the, from the aesthetic, I guess. Counters are good and functional, and they're nice thickness. They don't have any laminate on them, which is nice. And uh, great information charts, great information tracks, easy to read rules, really well done game. And uh, based on my play so far, um, I think it's uh, an interesting game and worth a look. Okay, we'll see what happens when we actually finish it later.